welcome to our online Sunday School. I'm Ate Rafa and again, welcome, welcome. So, ready na ba kayo to sing and dance? To hear the word? And, of course, to memorize the memory verse and to do some craft? If you are ready, so, bago yun, mag-pray mo na tayo. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everyone that will participate sa gagawin namin ngayon. And I pray na marami kaming matututunan. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, let's start! Choose!
Hello kids, happy Sunday. Today is the day of the Lord, the day to worship God. Today, I would like to share with you the word of God from John chapter 14. Let's first read the passage. Please open your Bibles with your teacher today. Okay, ano kayang sabi sa John 14? John chapter 14 is a passage that shares to us what Jesus told his disciples when he was telling them about the kingdom of heaven or the place where the father lives sabi dito sa john chapter 14 verses 1 to 4 let me read it to you do not let your hearts be troubled trust in god trust also in me and my father's house are many room if it were not so i would have told you i am going there to prepare a place for you and if i go to prepare a place for you I will come back and take you to be with me, that you may also be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Yeah, that is the word of God in John chapter 14. I haven't read the whole chapter uh, to you, but tingnan muna natin kids, ano yung gustong sabi ni Jesus sa mga disciples niya. So this was the time that Jesus was preparing to go back to the Father. It was the time of preparation for His crucifixion. Yung bago siya makrucify, mamatay, at mabuhay muli at bumalik sa langit. So this March, we are celebrating what we call the Holy Week. Yung Holy Week ay ito ay... Um, celebration ng mga believers sa week kung saan si Jesus Christ ay papunta sa cross para magbayad ng ating mga kasalanan. And uh, bago, bago si Jesus namatay, marami siya mga instructions sa mga disciples niya. And one of the things that he reminded them is that they must not let their hearts be troubled. So pag sinabi ni Jesus na do not let your hearts be troubled, ang ibig sabihin ng troubled ay nababagabag na puso or ang heart natin ay walang peace, laging nagwo-worry, laging nag um wonder kung ano yung gagawin no, laging natatakot. And ang gusto ni Jesus sa mga disciples niya nung mga time na yon ay matandaan nila na hindi sila dapat mag-alala. Kahit ano man yung sunod-sunod na mangyayari, alam ni Jesus kasi na malapit na siyang ma-persecute, malapit na siyang patayin. So sabi niya, do not let your hearts be troubled. So para daw hindi sila mag-alala at para hindi sila mabahala is they must trust in God and trust in Jesus. Bakit? <clears throat> ano ba yung promise ni Jesus sa kanila? Ang pangako ni Jesus para sa kanila ay, sabi niya, In my Father's house are many rooms. Maraming room sa bahay ng tatay ko. And I go there to prepare a place for you. So, ibig sabihin, um, si Jesus, pinangako niya na merong lugar para sa mga disciples or mga believers sa Father's house. The Father's uh, house is heaven or the kingdom of God. We know that Jesus uh, loves us so much that He, uh, kaya nga tayo nag-celebrate ng Holy Week dahil alam natin na si Jesus Christ ay mamamatay sa cross, namatay sa cross para sa ating mga kasalanan. And kung sino man daw ang, sino ang maniwala sa Kanya, makikita natin dito sa sunod na sasabi ni Jesus na sila ay makakapunta sa Father's house, which is heaven. And sabi niya, I am going there to prepare a place for you. So, sa pagdating ng araw kung saan pupunta tayo sa Father's house, tayo ay naghahanda bilang believers na pag-usapan natin na dapat maging wise tayo, i-maximize natin yung pagkakataon ng paghahanda. Ganon din si Jesus. He's already preparing a place for us. Sabi dito, um, I go, I will come back and take you to the place where I am or take you with me. So after ni Jesus maghanda ng lugar natin sa langit, 
babalik siya at kukunin tayo at isasama sa kanya. Sabi ni Thomas kay Jesus, Lord, hindi namin alam yung daan. Yeah, sabi niya, we do not know where you are going. So how can we know the way? And sino kaya ang way? Or ano kaya ang way? Sabi ni Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So tandaan natin to. <clears throat> Ito yung wag natin kakalimutan. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Because Jesus loves us so much, He is preparing a place for us in His Father's house. And dun sa pag-prepare niya ng place, tayo kailangan natin tatandaan na He is the way, the truth, and the life. So, ang ibig sabihin lamang nito, hindi tayo makakalapit kay God the Father kung wala si Jesus. Si Jesus lang ang tanging daan para makapunta tayo sa Father's house and para makasama natin si God the Father. So alam natin na kung sino ang makakakilala kay Jesus ay makikilala din ang Ama or God the Father. We will know God the Father if we know Jesus because Jesus is with the Father. So sabi ni Jesus sa mga disciple, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. Verse 11, believe me when I say that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me. Or at least believe on the evidence of the miracles themselves. I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. So sa pag-aantay natin sa pagbalik ni Jesus Christ dahil naghahanda siya ng lugar para sa atin, ano yung dapat nating gawin? We will do what Jesus has been doing. As disciples of Jesus Christ, ano ba yung ginawa ni Jesus para sa iba? He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He cast out demons. Ano pa? He set the captives free. Tinulungan niya yung mga nahihirapan, nasasaktan, ano, at hindi nakakakilala kay Lord. At binigyan niya sila ng pag-asa. Binigyan niya sila ng hope, ng peace, ba? Diba? Kagaya ng binigyan niya sa mga disciples niya na sinabi niya, Do not let your hearts be Troubled. Okay? So tayo, habang inaantay natin ng pagdating ni Jesus kung saan kukunin niya tayo at isasama niya tayo sa kingdom of God, ano yung dapat natin gawin? Ito yung mga gagawin natin at mas lalo pang marami. Sabi niya, He will do even greater things than this. Habang Jesus is with the Father, we will do whatever God has called us to do. And Ano yung pangako niya sa mga disciples niya? I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask anything in my name and I will do it. And ang pangako niya as we obey, as we reach those who are lost, those who are broken, uh, pag natulungan natin yung kapwa natin, na-encourage natin yung classmates natin, Pinakilala natin si Lord sa kanila, dinala natin sila sa church, ba? Diba? Nirich natin yung mga neighbors natin para makilala nila si Jesus. That Jesus is, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Then we will all have the promise of God that if we ask anything according to His name, He will do it. And ang greater promise pa dyan ay we will be with Him in His Father's house when He comes back to pick us up. Alright, children. So what a great promise from the Lord Jesus Christ. This is also your memory verse. It says in John 14:6, I am the way. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So Jesus was going to heaven to prepare a place for the disciples and until now he is there. He's going back to take us with him if we are part of those who believe in him. 
he shared about the kingdom of heaven because he wants his disciples to look forward to the his coming back and he also wants his disciples to not be troubled but to have peace of mind because he will be they will all or we will all as his disciples be with him in heaven one day that's our word for today children i hope you enjoy the story and i hope you remember that jesus is the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through him god bless you Bye. Hi kids! I am Kuya Wancho. And I am Manuel. And our memory verse is from John 14 verse 6. Let us read it. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14 verse 6. You know, Jesus is the only way for eternal life. And that is correct. And let us read the memory verse one last time. John 14 verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14 verse 6. One more time. John 14, verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes through the Father, through the Father except through me. John 14, verse 6. I, I hope you memorize it and share it with your friends, families, or classmates. Bye. Bye! See you again next week! Bye! everyone for participating sa Sunday School natin ngayon and see you again next Sunday! Bye!